guys, what's up? It's Joe Rady from Rady's Rise. I'm back here at the Dream Giveaway Garage and it's a very, very special moment for me and definitely a very special giveaway. We have it, this is a 2020 C8 Corvette, totally redesigned from top to bottom and guess what? The engine is no longer located up front. The amazing news is, is that you could win this in the giveaway but what's I think even bigger news is you get two cars. You actually get a 1962 Corvette Resto Mod and the C8 Corvette. But definitely for this review, we're gonna focus and talk all about what makes the C8 so unique, so special, and such a historical car. And then we're gonna say, hey, is it truly the ultimate Corvette? But it goes all the way back to 1953. 1953. That's when the birth of the Corvette happened. I hope you like white with red interior because that was the only color choice you had. With this new C8 Corvette, you have 12 different color options. And for the first time, you could really option it to your specific likes with stitching, seatbelt color, brake caliper color, so on and so forth. Now, first two years of the Corvette, wasn't much performance there. It was an inline six, no V8, no manual. 1955, a gentleman by the name of Zora Arcus Duntov worked his magic, got the small block Chevy in there, and changed history forever. Now, what's interesting is that it's actually Zora Arcus Duntov who started to think about and, and come up with theories of why the Corvette needed to become a mid-engine car. And it's all from the 1957 12 Hours of Sebring when John Finch was burning his feet from the heat from behind the firewall of this Corvette race car, and that's when Zora knew that something had to happen, that engine had to get behind the driver. Crazy to think that it took that long for this to happen. So don't think that the C8 Corvette was just an overnight idea. Somebody woke up and said, hey, let's put the engine in the middle. It's been going on for a while. Now in the IMSA WeatherTech series, where the Corvette races against brands like Ferrari, Porsche, and BMW, they say they are at their engineering limit with the C7 front engine setup, and that's another reason why they went the C8 route. One thing is for certain is that the Corvette landscape is gonna change forever after the introduction of this car. So let's go ahead, dive into this torch red 2020 C8. Right off the bat, the first thing you'll notice, this has the Z51 option. For 2020, the only option performance-wise is the Z51. There's no Z06, there's no ZR1, what that's gonna give you is some extra horsepower, but a lot of extra touches, which I'm gonna point out. First of all, let's see what's different. Headlight design. Now, I don't envy the designers of this car one bit because the Corvette Faithful, they're very hard to please and you don't wanna change too much. You gotta keep that identity. So the way they worked the headlight design, I think it was a proper progression from the C7, full LED daytime running lamps, full LED turn singles, and of course, LED headlights. Now, when we drop down, you're gonna get these massive air intakes, which of course are functional. It's that carbon flash material. It's not carbon fiber, carbon flash. Now, what's fascinating, you see this horizontal bar right here? Technically, that shouldn't be there. The only reason it is there is because the Department of Transportation says for pedestrian safety, this needs to be here. I don't know what pedestrian is gonna be putting any part of their body anywhere near this part, but that's why that's there, but it also looks good. Drop down, because this one is fully loaded, the three LT option, carbon fiber front splitter all the way across, wet weave, drop dead, gorgeous. Now you're gonna get the iconic Corvette cross flags. You go back to 53, look at the pictures. It's always been the cross flags, the checker flag and the Chevy bow tie flag. I love all of the lines and into the design here. It looks like a stealth fighter. The front portion of the car, spot on the money. Very aggressive, definitely screams Corvette. And of course, no longer a V8. You have the frunk underneath there, that trunk uh, at the front of the vehicle. Now, when we get up onto that hood, like I said, stealth fighter, very sharp lines. It does have the traditional overall look of a Corvette, which is amazing. I'm so glad they were able to keep this. Now, one thing I wanna point out before we go to the side, when you look at the side mirrors, the passenger side actually sticks out a little bit further than the driver's side. That's actually done on purpose because when you're piloting this C8 Corvette, that mirror needs to be a little further out to see past the air intake. So if you're looking at a Corvette C8 and you say to yourself, hey, that passenger mirror looks a little bit uh, further out, 
bet some people around the car that it is and you're gonna win because it technically is further out than the driver's side. Now when we come around the bend, what are some things that are gonna be unique to the Z51 performance option? Loving these wheels, gloss black, they're wrapped in those Pilot Sport 4S tires. That's part of the Z51 performance package. Underneath these fenders are gonna be that magnetic ride suspension that's been fine-tuned for the racetrack. Now I love the gloss black wheel, nice overall multi-spoke design. Z51, you see how they actually put it actually on the caliper here? Z51 badge, that Corvette script, six piston caliper is gonna gramp just clamp down on that rotor and give you maximum stopping capability everywhere you go. This is a 19 inch wheel, 245 on the width, 35 series sidewall, fully ventilated rotor, looks sharp. As we go down the side, there's that carbon flash on the side mirrors. Look at how they did the extra arrow for the turn signals. I mean, everything on this car is so well thought out. Target top, every Corvette, since the C7 has been a target top. There was once upon a time that if you had a target top, that meant that you lost rigidity of the structure. With this target top, you don't, you get two with this car. Carbon fiber, and then the other one is all painted red. I love the nice carbon fiber through there. Fits well with the front splitter and some of the other carbon fiber goodies, which I'm gonna show you in a second. The way they designed the flared out portion of the door, the carbon flash, on the door, now what's interesting is watch, when I open up the door, this piece actually stays on the door. The rest of it is on the car, but I'm gonna have Tom kind of swing in and show you how you're gonna force feed all that air to cool that engine and whatnot at the back portion of the car. Look at the massive sides, the side sill here. I mean, the way it kicks up, full carbon fiber. It's funny because with these additional aerodynamic aids, it's making me like the car a lot more especially when we get to the back. Now, as we work our way back, the nice flared out fender, let's see what we're talking about wheel and tire setup back here. So out back, you are looking at a 20 inch wheel. So it's a little bit, it's an inch larger in diameter, 305s. This is a rear wheel drive car, of course. So you wanna have a little bit thicker tire on the back to get traction to the ground. Four piston Brembo's out back, nice size rotor. Looks so great, the gloss black the torch red and torch red overall. Let's see what's lurking behind the glass for the first time in the history of the Corvette mid-engine. That means the V8 is in between the rear axles and the front axles. That is that LT2 engine. Since this is a Z51 option car, you're looking at 495 horsepower. No more manual transmission. Tremec eight-speed automatic DCT transmission. Z51, this is a Z51 specific performance wing. It's an additional option. This for me makes the back of the car. Without this, I would be zonking a lot more than I am, but here come a couple. I'm still gonna zonk these rear, rear taillights. I don't know why they move further and further away from the circles. C7 wasn't too bad. Now we're just, it's, it's getting lost in translation. So that is a zonk for me. And I, I'm not loving these side corner vents. It, it really does make the back of the car look a little too squarish. But I have changed my mind since I've been around them. The squared off exhaust tips, the way that they're staggered looks really nice. And then the additional rear diffuser area here on our Z51 performance package car, I, I think that's what changes the whole rear end. This and that air, extra aerodynamic piece. And then of course, we can't forget the Stingray. This is still a Stingray Corvette. Does anybody want to take a guess when was the first year of the Stingray? What year? 1963, that was the beginning of the second generation. Second generation went from 63 to 67. The last time Stingray was on a car before the C7 Corvette was 1976, which that's actually the longest generation from 1968 all the way to 82. But wait, we're on the eighth generation. Let's go ahead, pop that engine cover and see what kind of power we're talking about. All right, guys, we got the rear hatch open. Love how amazing it looks from the underside, the rear glass separating the cockpit from the engine compartment. Look at the carbon fiber. They spilt a bucket of carbon fiber in there. 
but there it is, the first ever mid-engine Corvette. You're looking at that LT2 6.2 liter V8. Because this is a Z51 option car, you get five horsepower more. So instead of 490, 495 horsepower, 470 pound-feet of torque, all made it to the eight-speed DCT. This has an electronic limited slip differential weight. The C8 weighs in at 3,622 pounds. That's where it's a little heavier than the C7. The C7 weighed 3,298 pounds. You have the staggered wheel setup with the 19 inch wheels up front and the 20 inch wheels out back, zero to 60 in a mind blowing 2.8 seconds, quarter mile in 11.2 and a top speed of 194 miles an hour. Now, one of the most interesting things about being back here is you still have cargo capacity, 8.6 cubic feet of space back here in this rear area. And then you're gonna have four cubic feet of space up in that front. It's a little less than the C7, but the great news is you still have that flexibility that if you wanna daily drive this beast, you can. But while we get to the best part, if you're ready, I'm ready. Let's go ahead and get that pushrod V8 engine fired up. Hi guys, business time in the CA Corvette. I really am eating my words. Uh, I thought for sure I would not accept this car. It's quickly, I mean, very quickly, like as we're on camera, growing on me. Now I know you're probably saying, well, Joe, this one has almost all the bells and whistles. What does it not have? This one doesn't have the lift system, the front end lift system that you could put around a thousand locations where it will automatically lift through GPS, where there's a curb, where there's a speed bump, where there's a pebble in the road. This doesn't have it, but it pretty much has everything else. So you're looking at MSRP of around $90,000. Let's see what you get, because remember, this is the giveaway. Let's see what you get. You have the optional Bose sound system. I love the brushed aluminum. The two-tone color interior. I'm telling you, Lori did a great job here at Dream Giveaway Garage with the red stitching the black with red interior, the carbon fiber trim, the silver, they brought it up to a new level. And guess what? They know that you love Twinkies because you have a nice pocket in there where you could slide some of those race winning Twinkies when you're ready to have your victory lap. Dash, you're separate. The, the dash for the driver, uh, excuse me, for the passenger, nice far forward. Look at the AC vents. So your controls for the AC vents are right here to direct it and everything. Push that in, there's your glove box. Your passenger can have their fine china in here because of the nice felt lining. Close it up, soft material everywhere. And then I'm absolutely loving how they separate you and your passenger. It's like, you're over there, play with your AC vents. I'm over here, I get everything. So this whole row, this cascading waterfall of AC controls, heated seats, ventilated seats, all the way back. It makes sense. When I first saw this in a magazine, I was like, huh? But being behind the wheel, sitting here, it makes total sense. Even the headliner, Alcantara, with some nice red stitching, it's absolutely gorgeous. And then the seats, nicely bolstered, carbon fiber material, the perforated center. I, I'm speechless. I really am speechless. Full electric assist, of course, for passenger and driver. And I think my last favorite part, just sitting here, is looking back this way and seeing the engine compartment. You got a bird's eye view of that V8 back there. But why don't you come on over here? I wanna show you behind the business end, behind the D-shaped steering wheel of this C8 Corvette. All right, guys, business time. You do have two memory settings for the driver's side, which is really nice. What's crazy too is, is that even the sill, the sill is so easy for you to get in and out of the Stingray badge nice bolstering. You do have three different seat options to choose from and two different steering wheels. The shape is the same, it's just the material. What's the difference in the material? Steering wheel though, D-shaped. You have the nice bright red, torch red stripe at top dead center. Love the crisscross stitching. 
the work they did with the horn button, flat black on the buttons, and then check out the massive paddles to go up and down the eight-speed automatic transmission. That's gonna be the Zog for me, no manual. Now, supposedly, what the engineers at Chevrolet said is that if they cut a hole in this tunnel for a shifter, that you're gonna ruin the rigidity. I'm calling BS on that because you take this out, that's a big hole and there's no loss of rigidity. So I would like a manual uh, just as an option for anybody who wants it, but I'm sure when we take it for a spin, the eight-speed DCT is gonna do the business. You have an eight-inch infotainment system screen. I love the way it's tilted. Here's your push-pull uh, system to get into that eight-speed automatic from Tremec. Nice little palm rest with the Corvette cross flags. The Zonk for the infotainment system, it's got Apple CarPlay, it's got Android Auto. Look at all this dead space. They could have made that a little bit larger than just an eight inch, but I love the brushed aluminum on the start stop button. And then check out that 12 inch display. Now, before break-in, that's what the tachometer is gonna look like. It actually changes after break-in, which is really, really wild. But you could go into your different modes. This does have the adaptive exhaust as well, of course. You could go into sport. Look at how the, look at the dash change. Look at that. It is crazy. Look at that setup, amazing. The technology, now we're in track mode. You got the tack across the top, heads up display, the stitch work, the carbon fiber around the gauge cluster. <sighs> plenty of headroom, plenty of shoulder room. I feel great. We open this up, two cup holders, like you're gonna drink in my C8 Corvette. I don't think so. And then you even have a glove box here for some gloves with a USB, or you can have that separate Twinkie just for you. My mind's blown. But before we go for our, our spin, let's go ahead and check out that frunk and see how usable it is. All right, guys, time to check out that frunk area. There's actually a hidden button. It's located right here. You push that, pops up. There's over four cubic feet of space. It's carpeted and you have a 12 volt in there and LED lighting, which is really nice. Now, if you're wondering, Joe, what did you just take out of the, out of the frunk? Let me show you, this comes with the Z51 package. These are actual cooling ducts that are gonna get installed for your track day to help cool the brakes, the calipers, the rotors, so that you don't get brake fade. Brake fade is when you get on the brakes and that pedal goes all the way to the floor and you're not slowing down. Z51, all about track performance. If you're ready, I'm definitely ready. Let's take this Corvette Stingray for a spin. All right, guys, we left Dream Giveaway Garage. I'm sitting here in the C8. I figure while we're at a light, let me talk about some of the things that I've noticed with this car that I'm loving. The dash is absolutely beautiful. It's crazy to think that this is a General Motors product. It feels like it's made by a totally separate entity, to be honest with you, on a separate planet. Sitting close to that front axle, the hood just droops right down. You don't even see it. What you do see are the two peak fenders. Gives you great reference points. Steering wheel, perfect thickness. You have wireless charging back here. Now the visibility out the back is a little tight because of the wing and because of uh, you know the way the rear glass is, is slanted, but the mirrors make up for it. I mean, the mirrors are great. The placement is perfect. The shape of them is awesome. The heads up display, it shows the tag, shows the speedometer, it shows what gear you're in. I have it in manual mode. You just hit M, that makes sense. You'd be surprised. Sometimes we get into cars here on raised rides. It's like you gotta do a, a song and a dance, play rock, paper, scissors to get it to go into manual mode. Um, but everywhere you look, they have brought the level. I thought the C7 was at a crazy level for a Corvette for fit and finish. It's through the roof in here. I sound like a fanboy. I, I sound like Chevrolet paid me to do this video, but I'm being honest, it's an amazing atmosphere uh, to be sitting in. All right, guys, I'm going down the highway here. Smooth ride, that magnetic ride. The Z51, even if you're not gonna track it, the magnetic ride suspension is worth the money. It's a $5,000 option and uh, really just, I think, worth every penny. But let's do a little acceleration test on throttle. Oh my God! that this is not fully unlocked until you get through the break-in. So expect a part two from Dream Giveaway Garage with the C8 Corvette, because I also want to see what is Dream Giveaway going to do to modify this Corvette. That's another big, exciting thing to look forward to. But driving down the road here, it's comfortable. The seats are great. 
You don't feel cramped. God, they did it. They did it. And for a hell of a price. Now, this one is $90,000, but if you don't go Z51, if you just go base, to talk about a $60,000 mid-engine car like this, well done, General Motors. Well done. Third gear, on throttle. Oh, my God. The shifts from the Tremec are so fast. They're just so fast. I get it. Would I like to roll through my own? Manual transmission? Sure. I at least want that choice. And I feel like, you know, Chevrolet just isn't giving you the choice. And, and I get it, but it would be nice to have a manual. I don't care how much faster this makes you. It just, I don't know. I, I, can, I can feel it. Like, it'd be a fun extra part of the engagement process of, of driving this car. But um, you do have electric assist on the tilt and the telescoping steering wheel gets you get everything perfect to your body in here so perfect it's almost like somebody took saran wrap and wrapped me with a corvette i mean that's in a good way it feels good all right guys on throttle here we go you really feel at command of this corvette it, it's different because obviously in all previous generations you'd have that long sloping hood here you're sitting on that front axle and you really feel like you could do no wrong like you could hit every apex as if your last name is andretti it, it really feels that great looking in the side view mirrors i love the way the body work just kind of angles up away from you and peeking at the engine it's like looking at your child is it okay yes it is here we go on throttle what? oh my god the sound of that push rod Look at this, oh my God. <sighs> what a great time to be a car person. I mean, this is a this is history in the making. The C8 Corvette is history in the making. And to think that they're gonna have a Z06 and fingers crossed a ZR1, thousand horsepower? Wow, that's all I can say. Brake modulation is nice, feedback is great. Look at that. Wow. On throttle. Wow. So smooth. Look at this. So smooth. On the brakes. Those massive calipers just clamping down on those rotors. It feels so good. Great weight to the steering wheel. You know what? I'm digging the shape of the steering wheel. This D-shaped steering wheel. I, I'm liking it. And the paddles are a great size, easy to get to, and the shifts instantaneous, just like you'd expect. All right, guys, twisty bit time. If you're ready, I'm ready. Here we go. Second gear. Yeah. <laughs> Love it. Wow. Wow. On the brakes. Oh, my God. Woohoo! C8 Corvette. Yeah. Downshift. Oh my god, look at this. Nice. Wow. Yeah, I just I just had an eargasm and some other gasms back there. I need my towel. Wow. Oh my god. This car. This car is a is a beast. Wow. so well through this right hand look at this the steering is so quick so nimble so agile on throttle here we go wow look at this look at this God, i wish i was on a racetrack right now oh how i wish Take me to Sebring right away, please. Take me to Sebring. And then she stops, look at that, look at that power. Stops on a dime. Absolutely mind blowing. This thing is absolutely mind blowing. All right guys, on throttle, here we go. Wow. On the brakes, yeah, yeah. That engine, the V8, sounds so 
glorious. I am gonna hear this car in my dreams tonight and for the rest of my life. All right, guys, one more time for you. Here we go, on throttle. for you one last time for me third gear on throttle here we go yeah wow this thing accelerates so fast on the brakes downshift downshift watch us take this turn turn in nice oh, yeah super smooth super smooth super controlled the visibility is great for just carving those corners like it's Thanksgiving Day every day. All right, guys, one last time for real this time. Here we go, on throttle. Yeah! On the brakes, brakes feeling good. Look at this. Nice. Nice. Look at this, be a little careful here on the brakes. The turn-in, the weight, the balance, everything just feels on the money. Wow. Unbelievable. We got to get back to Dream Giveaway Garage. They probably think I stole the car and I'm bringing it to my garage. That's what they probably thought is going on. But we're going to wrap this up. I'll see you back at the garage, their garage, not mine, in a split second. All right, guys. <sighs> It's been an amazing time with this C8 Corvette. Definitely gonna thank Chris, Lori, Boomer, and Blake for getting us access to this giveaway. Somebody's gonna be a very, very happy camper with this sitting in their garage along with that resto modded 62 Corvette. Is this the ultimate Corvette? It's definitely the ultimate in performance for sure. Am I gonna call it a Corvette? Yes. Do I still feel like the front engine Corvettes were really where my heart is? For sure, but I think with some more time, I'm gonna ask them to let me borrow this over the weekend. I think uh, the C8 Corvette, especially the Z51 option, the way it's optioned, this is how I would want mine. So if somebody wants to get me one, this is how I want it. For sure, it is the ultimate Corvette and it, it now is a true Corvette. But if it's cars like these where I eat my words right on camera for you. Remember how I was talking all this zonk stuff about the Corvette? If it's cars like these you wanna keep seeing where I just eat my words, leave a comment in the comment section. If you're new and you're on your way out, hit the subscribe button. I promise you it's worthwhile coming back for more. If you are a subscriber, thank you for being part of the Radies Rides family. If you wanna help us keep making great content just like this over my shoulder, click that link in the description. Get yourself some Radies Rides merch. Gotta give it up to Corvette loving, Corvette summer loving, Tom Mosher with his big guns over there. He felt comfortable in that Corvette, even with his large arms. So thank you, Tom, for sharing this experience and all your hard work. And just like always, guys, I'll see you on the next ride.